Hello, my name is Christopher Faust. I'm a senior developer at QR Path in Denver, Colorado. And in this quick 10 minute video, I want to take you on a tour of QR Path's technology and why quite possibly your business is missing out on an incredible mobile market. First, if you don't know what a QR code is, don't worry. The entire purpose of our company is to educate you on the value of the QR code and Microsoft Tag technology. QR Path is the leading provider of mobile technology and development. We focus on small and large businesses ranging from online companies to retail stores and from local companies to national companies. The fact is every business can benefit from using QR codes. Even government agencies, political campaigns, and personal charity organizations can benefit from the technology. The main thing about understanding QR codes is realizing how they work, what their purpose is, and how they can be converted into traffic. Once we have established that, we turn your traffic into a captive audience. Now, imagine captivating a mobile market with your information. QR codes do just this, allowing you to grab the attention of mobile users from various locations, helping them find your business, retail location, or product information directly from their mobile phone. Now, what do you think would be the benefit from getting someone's attention when they're using their mobile device? Well, the main benefit is capturing their attention when they want to give it. Because of recent advancements in technology, people are more introverted when it comes to doing business and buying a product or service. They want to learn more about the product, service, or company before they commit. You'd be surprised how many people would rather learn about your business before they call you, if they call you. Google recently released a 2011 report stating that more than 80% of mobile users actively use their phone for internet search. In fact, the number of mobile data users is so extremely high that carriers like Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint have cut corners to slow down their data usage since the amount of bandwidth is too high for their systems to handle. Out of the 80%, actively using their devices, 60% use their mobile device to find a business and gather information on a purchase. So the question now becomes, what are the 60% of your clients seeing when they research your company on a mobile device? And how can you take advantage of the high usage of mobile to grab more local or national business? This is where the QR code or Microsoft tag comes into play. Your QR stands for Quick Response. It's a two-dimensional barcode that can be scanned by mobile applications and decoded via the camera on mobile phones or tablets. It is a quick and effective way to interact with your customers via print and visual media. What do you need for your business to succeed? Do you need people to like you on Facebook? You can do that with a QR code. How about people finding your retail location? Well, you can give people turn-by-turn -turn directions with a QR code. What about showing someone a video or a commercial uh, direct from your magazine or newspaper ad? You can do this with a QR code. What about reviews? Businesses thrive on reviews of other people, but you have to give your clients a quick and easy way to accurately review your company. A QR code can help you with this. You see, QR codes are a slick way to grab someone's attention right now. You may not know it, but QR codes will save your business in this recession. Call it what you want, but America and other parts of the world are struggling with economic stability. It can be tough to get people to buy from you using standard means of advertising, which is why you need to take advantage of new technology, stay up to date, and mobilize your product to reach more people. QR Path specializes in helping businesses ease into the mobile markets while taking advantage of the trends. We have advanced online platforms and marketing data that provide that. So whether you've been using QR codes over the past few years or you're new to the concept, QR Path helps you achieve your goals and get your information out there to a large mobile audience. What I'm going to show you quickly in this video is how to create a dynamic QR code, track its progress with a feature-rich reporting system, 
and set up a personal mobile landing page or a complete mobile website. These are just a few of the features that are available to you with QR Path. So first, let's take a look at how we create a QR code. What we're going to do is we're going to um, actually, we're already logged into our system. It's our demo system you can find online at qrpath.com. You can log into this exact demo system and test this out for yourself. Now, the interesting thing about the technology, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to create uh, 2D barcodes. We're going to create our campaigns. Now, when we go to, and we set up a campaign and we want to create one, we can either choose to have it go to a website, a mobile website, or smartphone application, or Facebook page. Now, it's very simple. Let's say we had a mobile app. We had an iPhone and a Droid app that we had developed. We can use one QR code in order to lead people um, to these apps. So this, this system is going to recognize whether or not they're scanning your QR code from an iPhone or from a Droid or from a Blackberry, Nokia, um, Microsoft uh, uh, phone as well. So you can set up links, hyperlinks to your apps all for one QR code that's going to be created. You can also set up a link directly to your Facebook page. This is going to interface with the Facebook application that's built into the phone. Now for right now what we're going to do is we're going to take this QR code that we're creating and we're going to create a test one. So we're going to create a test QR code number one and we're going to give it a URL. We're going to put in there qrpath.com and the media that's being used, what this is going to tell us is if we use, uh, if we select maybe a uh, business card, this QR code is going to go on a business card or a marketing piece, or maybe it's going to go on a direct mail piece that uh, we're going to do uh, a large print on. This is where we're going to put in the information. So if this is going to be a business card, we select business card. And we're going to choose when it's going to expire. So we'll give it about two months. Now the barcode type, we're going to select QR code, we'll get into Microsoft Tag in later tutorials which you can find in our support forum, qrpath.com slash forum, and then our size. For a business card we probably want to go a 3 or 4, I'm going to stick with a 7 just so you can kind of see, but marketing pieces that are larger, you might want to go with a 10 on size. This is, you know, ranging from 150 by 150 pixels up to 375 by 375 pixels. So a very large range, uh, 7 is the default and it's right in the middle. Now the error correction, a lot of people get this confused. Uh, error correction, if you want to uh, redefine your QR code. You want to customize it, which we also do uh, customize QR codes as well. You can have a QR code that has your logo for your company with your company colors uh, all built into it. And your logo can be placed directly into the center of the QR code. The higher the correction, then the more um, space that we can put in a QR or a logo into the QR code. Now, the lower we go, you're going to have more open space, but it's going to be restricted to just that data itself. It's not going to have the opportunity to correct for um, for that error for having the logo on top of it. So what we want to do is we want to select maybe like a medium high. Then we get to choose our color. Now to start off, it is going to default to black all the time, but let's say in this instance we wanted to create one that was a blue color. And now we're set. We can generate our QR code, and there it is. It's ready to go. We can download uh, via these buttons here. So we have a PDF option, JPEG, GIF, and PNG. Now, the next thing that we can do is we can put our logo on our QR code by uploading our logo. And we give you a simple and easy way to do that. Or we can just move right into our preferences. We can create. Um, a shortened URL, we can create a vanity URL specifically for a QR code. We can also have, uh, as this brings in reports and it tracks the usage of the QR code, we can have it email us daily, weekly, or monthly for these reports. We can also have it email us live scans, meaning that every 10th, 50th, or 100th scan or more, um, we can go ahead and have it uh, notify us of that. Now, going further down, what we're going to see is multiple goal tracking. And what multiple goal tracking is, is think of it like your Google Analytics. You're going to put in a um, user engagement code 
that code is going to go on your website on the different pages that you want to track. Once the QR code is scanned and it goes into your website, you want to know where people go, how long they spend on your pages, and what the ultimate goal is. If our goal is to go to qrpath.com slash contact, then we would type that in here and update the system. Then the next thing we would have to do is grab the user engagement code and paste it into our HTML pages. Now what this is going to do is track the users who are visiting and how long they stay on the page and if we make it to our actual goal or not. So let's say 60 people scan our QR code, but only 5 people actually made it to the contact page. The system is going to now tell us that information and give us side by side reporting. The other thing that we have set up is the geo tracking. The geo tracking is um, enabled to give us a GPS um, coverage of the where these QR codes are being scanned. So let's say you have a direct mail piece that goes out to uh, let's say 10,000 homes in your local cities, and you wanted to track not only the amount of scans that your QR code was receiving from that ad, um, but you also want to track where they were coming from. Well, the system's going to do that as well, too. Um, once the user has engaged the QR code, it's going to opt them in and say, would you like to share your location? If they say yes, it will be recorded into the system as a report. So you're going to get all that information. Now, the other thing, too, that you can do, which is really good for businesses. You're going to have other links that you can use via SMS, text messaging campaigns, email, Facebook, Twitter, and then other types of links that you want uh, to track uh, clickable uh, scans through. Now how this is going to do this is it's going to compare the click-throughs versus your scans on your QR code. For instance, you're creating a you're creating a QR code uh, specifically for a event that's going to uh, uh, take place. You have vendors at this, uh, you have a vendors list that you want to give out and it's specifically for a convention. Now let's say that gets updated at the last second. Now you're going to have a QR code that's going to be displayed at the convention to show you the updated vendors list. But you also want to send out an email to everybody saying get your vendors list uh, by clicking here. You can do that by using this link right here and tracking the response from how many people click through the email versus how many people scan the QR code at the convention. Same thing with Facebook. If you want to know your fa notify your Facebook users or um, your friends and, and family about a certain uh, um, link, you can do that, track that progress versus your QR code. So once this is set up, um, then your QR code is ready to go. We can go back to our home page. In the home page, what we're going to see is we're going to see this business card right here. Move this over. This is our QR code one that we did. And then we're going to grab a report on it really quick. This is our blue QR code that we just created. We can still have download options. We can go back in and edit the campaign. We can pull a CV, CSV file on this report, or we can have it emailed to us. We can also grab um, uh, informa uh, dated information, so we can go to specific dates, or we can put in any specific uh, date format and update it for the reports. Now this is a real-time scan report, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my phone and I'm going to scan this QR code. Now as I scan this, we're going to see right here in this section, we're going to see um, it notify us in real time that we just received a scan. And the other section for um, down below, and there you can see we just received our scan right here. This section right here is not updated in real time. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back out of the system. Okay. And we want to find our one that we just did, which is QR code one here. Go back into the reports. And then you can see that it has been updated to show us the scan. 
Now at this point we have um, a unique scan and scans. Let's say I scan this 10 times. It's going to show up as 10, but since I scanned it from my device, it's only going to keep it at 1 for unique scans. Bounce rate and goals are going to be set after we have put in our um, engagement tracking code, as well as the time on site. And then we're going to be able to see the content overview of how far people went into our website, how many page views each page received, and then the time on the site. Now we can see this traffic breakdown with 2D barcodes. This is going to show us the um, actual between the QR code and Microsoft tag if we choose to use both in our marketing campaigns. As well, we have our phones. We have our Android phone. We're going to see iPhones, uh, Nokia's. We're going to see all the different phone types as well and platforms that come in. Your demographics, you can set up a Facebook demographic with the system. This is going to allow you to uh, gather, um, whether it's male, female, different age groups, uh, who's scanning your QR code. Now the media contribution and then the GPS visits, this is going to show us as we break this down where I was located when I scanned the QR code. And then the media contribution is the business card. Now this is going to show you a, um, a, a pie chart comparison of how well your marketing piece is doing versus your business card or how well your direct mail piece is doing versus your business card versus your marketing piece. So you can have all three of them uh, as media contribution here. So that's just a quick demonstration of how you can use QR paths um, technology in order to uh, track QR codes. Now the next thing is you can go up to uh, qrpath.com slash forum, check out our tutorials for our new beginners. We have some more videos up there that are being posted daily and you're going to see things of how to build mobile pages, product specific pages, how to upload bulk barcodes, how to manage your campaigns into different groups, and we're going to give you a, a ton of really slick ideas of how you can engage users with your QR code, keep them on your mobile website, and convert them um, into sales. So uh, I thank you for your time today. And again, check out our website at qrpath.com for more information. You can also grab a free QR code. Just go ahead and click on the free QR code up here at the top, and you can get a free one online. Thank you very much.